end of the day, I gotta put everything up before we go home. I had to re, I had to take down a video this, this morning, which I wasn't terribly happy about. And, uh, but that's life. I'll try to re-edit it here tonight and get it up. But in the meantime, I do wanna do a quick video on five ratchets that are essential to you as an aircraft mechanic. A few of you have been requesting tools, so I'm gonna go over a, a quick five ratchet series. When you start out as an AMP, probably the best thing you can get is just a standard quarter inch drive ratchet. This is a DeWalt. I'm not really a brand loyal person, just whatever works, works. Push button release, nothing wrong with that. A simple quarter inch drive ratchet. That's what you start with. Now here's five ratchets to add on to your collection after this in no particular order. First up, we have the small but mighty gearless ratchet. As you can see, the anvil pushes through to both sides. You have a left and a right to indicate what direction you're turning. And if you listen, it doesn't make any noise. The reason it doesn't make any noise is because it's a gearless ratchet. This is really great for tight spaces. And it's also good for after you break the torque loose on a nut, and maybe you just can't get it with your fingers, this ratchet has no back drag, so basically it'll get almost anything off. Next up, we have the power ratchet or the cordless ratchet. They're called cordless because there's a battery in here. There is an air version of these. This particular one is a snap-on, and as you can see, it works as you'd expect. It will work as a regular ratchet if you wanted to use the tool to break something, but they have a lot of back drag, so you can break the torque and then maybe ratchet something but a cordless ratchet is a really good tool to have. Next up, we have the rotator style ratchet. This is very similar to a cordless ratchet in that if I turn the handle on this, the anvil will spin just like a cordless ratchet. The general rule of thumb with these rotating style ratchets is that three turns on the handle gives you one turn at the head. So you actually have a pretty good bit of leverage with this if there's a stubborn bolt. And the main advantage to something like this over a cordless ratchet is just the size. It's a lot smaller and you can also use it as a regular ratchet, but you do have to be careful because the handle will want to rotate and you will bust your knuckles. But once you understand and you're used to using it, it's a very good tool to have. Next up, we have the indexing ratchet and I've got some pretty good clips of this one in action that we took today. Success. That's good. Thank you. Next up, we have the indexing ratchet. So you can move the head into different positions. And a lot of people think that's how this is supposed to be used to get around something. I have never used it for that. I don't think it should be used for that. And I also need y'all's help with this particular one. I can't find a quarter inch drive indexing ratchet that's made by any company other than Snap-on. So if there's a beginner out there who wants to get one, I wouldn't start with Snap-on, but I do want them to have an option. Basically what this does for you is it kind of doubles as a smaller speed handle that can get into really tight places. And also, if you do happen to go for the Snap-on, it doubles as a long ratchet and the teeth count on this is 80, but it also has very little back drag. Um, but I've only had it for a week, so it's not completely broken in yet. For the fifth and final must-have ratchet as an AMP, after you get your standard, it's a bit driver. This particular one is by Icon, but having a bit driver, the head is so much smaller than our standard quarter inch, you can get into tight to read places, and you can push down on the head while you're turning something and get a little bit of extra torque on it. A bit driver is a must. It does not have to be an icon set like this. Gear wrench one will do fine. A cobalt one will do fine. But you do want to get a good bit driver. Bonus round. This is a Wera quarter inch drive SAE set. The good thing about the Wera is that it has this adapter to accept any bits. Sockets lock in place. It has a little collar right here that lets the ratchet spin around it. And when you move the head up, it actually doubles as a speed handle for you to use it as a nut driver. It also locks at 15 degrees and a standard 90 degrees. Push button release. 
these are pretty nice, especially when you're doing something that needs a nut driver all day. But like I said, not something I'd start out with. Next one, this is kind of a hack. This is a pass-through ratchet. You wanna get one that's a quarter inch drive. And the reason you wanna do that, it has the shortest possible head for the Here body. I've got the snap-on and the pass-through side-by-side, -side, both with 3-8 sockets. And you can see that the pass-through is almost half an inch shorter. So it can really come in handy in hard to reach spaces. And if you don't wanna shell out the money for a snap-on low profile socket set when you're first starting out, this is a pretty good budget option. However, it's not as small as the snap-on low profile socket set. So that wraps it up for the five ratchets to add after you get your starter set. Let me know if I miss anything. Please leave a comment or link in the description below if you have one that you feel like should be added to this list. And also comment what other five tool series would you guys like to see? I wanna thank everyone for watching. Have a great day.